All right, guys, I said I was gonna go into the other topic here, but I also wanted to, I forgot to mention one other thing about silicone babies. Um, posing your babies and stuff can be a little bit um, of a problem if you try to force the baby into awkward positions or stretch them beyond their limits. Um, that can create a tear, a rip, stuff like that. You don't want to do that um, as far as even with the armatures. You don't want to bend them um, opposite of the way the armature is meant to go. You can, you know, I don't know. I've, I've, I've not had a broken armature before, um, but I'm just saying I just wouldn't do it. Um, some of the armatures that I've had, though, have been very, like, firm and stuff and I would be definitely scared to try try that. You just take care of your dolls as much as possible um, so that you can enjoy them for a long time and get your money's worth. Um, then the next thing I was talking about when I was talking about the pacifier in the other video, I was saying how Angela uh, Plicka, okay, so for those that's new to this channel or might not watch the other video, I, I encourage you to watch it if you're thinking about you know, having a baby, baby reborn silicone doll. Um, this is a full body silicone baby. Um, she is a willow awake sculpt by Claire Taylor and she was painted by me. This is a final reborn doll that was painted by Angela Plicka and it's a Jalen sculpt by Georgia Pigot, Pigot or something to that nature. This is the pacifier I was talking about and I was saying how I love how Angela Plicka made it thin and flat because she takes a modified pacifier and I don't think that putting a magnet on her would work best so I wouldn't even I don't think she has a magnet and she doesn't need one because she can take this and I wouldn't use a magnet and I trust um, Angela's painting that as long as I don't do excessive and forceful and hard, that her paint will be stay intact. Um, but what I was saying is what something I found out about some, not all, because I have had some very expensive babies that I was appalled at the contents in within the doll. Like they were using like the sand like beads and um the very thin plastic um, gloves instead of stockings to weight them and stuff like that. And it's not that it's wrong, it's just the cheapest route to go. And the doll was over a thousand dollars, they're very expensive. So I was really like really shocked. But I will say that my late, my purchases that I've purchased re as of recent, of expensive um, reborns and I'm one to be like most people oh I'm not gonna spend over that much money on a reborn and I've I've done that now guys I'm, I'm sorry I've spent silicone money on reborns period that's every the last few reborns that I've gotten has just period just straight up silicone money but I what I will say is that the reason why I feel so good about my purchase and I don't feel cheated and I don't feel upset or feel like, oh, wow, they're charging this for that. I don't have that feeling. I am. I feel very, very um, excited. I still feel good about my purchase. Um, <clears throat> this is not my first baby from Angela Plicka, but <clears throat> it's the first one that you guys have seen. But her quality inside and out her babies is because you guys know I always usually end up reweighting them or something is is very good quality she used regular stuff she she in fact I'm not gonna go into the details of what she does because buy one and you'll get to know but she does her stuff differently and um I I really really appreciate that because when you spend that kind of money for a baby you don't want something that may have issues later because they chose to um, take shortcuts on the quality. So a lot of people complain about price and stuff like that. And trust me, I wish these babies would be cheaper sometime. But 
at the same time, I don't, I don't complain about it because I've seen both sides and seen how different it can be. Um, the attention to detail in just everything about the making of the baby. I'm not going on about the clothes. Don't get me wrong. They do send lots of clothes and nice clothes and stuff like that too. Especially when the baby's coming from overseas. Like there were things that um, the shoes and stuff that Joey got was like priceless. And the little outfit that's in a different language that I still don't know what it's saying is like one day I should Google it maybe. Yeah. Um, is uh, it's priceless. Um, yeah. But. That's not what I'm paying my money for. I'm paying my money for the actual doll. And when you're spending over two grand for a reborn and three grand, four, five, six, seven, you don't want to have to go to reweight that baby only to find that it has like the sand like type stuff that's going to like make a mess and seep out. Sometimes it seeps through the body. And stuff like that. Like you don't want to find that in that type of money spent. It just is disheartening and it makes your blood boil. Well for me it would. But it's nice when you get to reweight them. And you can still reuse the material that they use. And just shift the weight. Like when I reweighted um, Nevada. All I did was shift her weight around. I added some of my own stuff to her. But. I I could still use the stuff that was used in her. I could tell that it was it was good quality. It's what it was similar to the same stuff of what I put inside my reborns, but she has her own little way, which is cute. Um, but yeah, I I I know it's a lot of price shaming going on, but yeah, and that's why like for me, I don't I don't lower my my price. I'm not gonna get into the details, but there's I'm just saying that there's just a lot of stuff that we we think is, oh, they're just the same and da 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 and all that stuff. Sometimes they're not. And sometimes it's just about the painting, to be honest. Like, the baby is beautiful. I love them. I want it. I can see myself buying it if I have the money to get it. I do. If it's above my reach, then it's above my reach. And then I just move on. Um, I know sometimes I have been quoted prices higher than other people because they assume that oh she buy high-end dolls she'll pay xyz so i'm gonna put the price here um that is a different story um i still to this day am very very hurt by uh one particular baby that i bought i'm not gonna say which one or whatever but apparently i was charged almost double what the uh, the artists normally charge. And I didn't find that out until after the fact. But it is what it is. I paid it. I was excited. It was one of those moments where it was an impulse buy. And now that's why I kind of slow down. Just slow it down. Like, ooh. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of good to know what the market is like, too, when you're dealing with prices, too. Even with second market, that way you know like where you're at. Like, okay, well, this is kind of what the babies are going for. Um, also, it's good for you to know what the market is on all babies too a little bit because sometimes you might be like, oh, that's a lot. But if you realize that in the big scheme of thing is not the highest price out there, you'll realize that it's not that bad as you think. Um, anyway, I just think we just, you know, just educating yourself with the hobby all the way around. It's just, it's, it's key. I'm looking at Zora. She's so freaking cute, y'all. I love her. I love her little feet. Her little feet. I don't even want to put her on no shoes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Me and my craziness. I can't stay on topic. But that's it. That's all I wanted to say is that I'm very, very, um, happy with my purchases my recent purchases um and the quality that they put in i think um valera baby and angela plica does an amazing job um so 
if you're looking for something a little bit more rare and less likely for everybody to have their babies out there type thing, those two artists is definitely, and I'm not promoting them or anything like that, but I'm just saying my opinion, you can't go wrong. I don't feel like they rush through anything. I, I do. I think that they should be considered high quality because they are. So that's my spill on it. Um, and that is it. So I'm going to pick my Phoebe up and rock her a little bit while this layer cure. I am back silicone painting. So you guys will probably see less of me. Um, usually when I'm painting my silicone, I'm very, very, um, off hands with everything else. So social media, everything will die down. Um, I do have some changes that I'm considering coming up and I don't know I just got to make a final decision on it but I might be making a very big change to my role in the reborn and silicone baby community um so I will let you guys know that soon bye bye